It is incredibly frustrating to keep track of which page in Confluence is ready to be published, which ones still need editing, and which ones need review. Fortunately, the page status feature can help you keep track of everything. So here, we're going to dig into what this feature is, how you can prepare it and use it, and how it will help your team keep track of everything. Before we jump into Confluence, though, we're going to talk about some ideas around page status. So let's jump in and see what we can learn. Now, like any process that we have for any system, before we start using this feature, we want to step back and make sure we understand why are we using it. Why do we want to have a status show up on a page that we can then use to determine if we have to edit it or do some automation or something else? Typically, the answer is because some pages aren't quite ready to be published. We need to publish them so other people can edit or review them, but they might not be ready for consumption. Or maybe they are published too early, and so we need something else on the page to clearly indicate it's still in review. So make sure you take time to sit down with your team and determine why you might want a status on a page. After you've determined to use it or not, take a minute to think through what statuses do you need? What is the workflow your team will use when they need to create content? Typically, this will be something like first draft, draft completed, ready for review, and reviewed. You may have more or less steps, but by sitting down and determining what your process is and then sharing it with your team, you're going to reduce a lot of confusion. This will help the team understand when they see that rough draft status, they know what it means and they know who to go to if they have questions. If you just turn this feature on and don't teach people what it's for or how to use it, it's going to get very confusing and you're going to have to probably pull it back and backpedal a bit. So taking time to uncover why you want to do it and then how you'll do it is very important. So for this example, we're going to have a couple example statuses we've agreed on. Our team will have a rough draft. The first person has created it, maybe my subject matter expert, and they're ready to hand it off for someone to review. It will then be in progress during the review. Maybe this is an editor or another expert, and then it will be ready for final review. Once it's been finally reviewed, the page will become verified, signaling to the team it's good to go and it is accurate. So now that we know what our scenario is, let's jump in and see how we can make it happen in Confluence. Here I am in Confluence Cloud Premium, and I'm a space admin of this space that is necessary to see these settings. I'm going to jump into my space settings, and then I'm going to jump to the setting content statuses, and I'll see this screen. Now, this screen is important. If my team has decided not to use content statuses, or if I don't think they're ready for them, I can turn them off just by clicking the rocker at the top, and this will disable the feature. This can be beneficial if you don't think the team is ready or if you haven't had time to discuss how you're going to use it. However, our pretend team has decided they need statuses. And here I can see the suggested statuses. These will show up when we create a page. However, I maybe don't like in progress. I want to change this name so I can delete this status. And then I can create a brand new status. I'll give it some name, maybe review in progress, and I can pick the color, I'll leave purple. And now I have an additional status. You'll notice they're not necessarily in any order. And this is where it's important for the team to sit down and understand its first rough draft, then ready for review, then review in progress, and then verified. Now we can allow users to create their own custom status. This can be a challenge as individuals might make up their own, but I tend to leave things pretty open in Confluence. So if you think your team will make too many statuses or abuse this, you can turn it off and prevent them from doing that. However, for this example, we'll leave it on just so you can see what it looks like. Next, I just need to go create a page. I'll make a page. Here I have my new page, and you'll notice right up at the top, there is a status menu. Because I've allowed people to add a custom status, I can do it right here. So if my editors realize they need something new, they can just create it. And you'll notice they have. There is an inactive status. This wasn't on the suggested list. However, I have all of my suggested statuses right here. Because this is new, I want to tag it as a rough draft. And you'll notice that it's now moved. It shows up in the top right, and I can again change it just by clicking on it or even delete it entirely. From here, I would add whatever content I need, and then I would publish my page. Once the page is published, the status appears up at the top. Now, currently, there is nothing that would stop someone from reading this page if it's in rough draft, so you'll want to ensure your team is aware to check for status when they're looking at a page. 
This will help them understand, is it ready for consumption or does it still need work? However, at this point, we might be wondering, how do we make sure people know to go look for a rough draft or something else? Well, up in the content manager, I can expand this and see the status of every page. So as a space admin, I can see across the entire space, which pages are in which status. I could then direct my team to go look at the page title page or the status info page and make whatever adjustments they need. More commonly, however, I see teams using automations. This is something that I can trigger when a page hits a certain status. For example, I could create a rule that when a page is updated, check the status for rough draft and then communicate to someone else. In this example, I've put together a very quick automation that every time a page is edited, if the status is rough draft, add a comment that it needs to be edited. This allows teams to have their own flexibility around what's going to happen when a page hits a certain status. However, it is an extra step we need to go through in order to alert someone that, hey, you have to go update that page. As my content moves through its phases, all editors will have to do is edit the page and then update the status as it's ready to review, review in progress, and eventually verified. A verified page can only have that status changed by the page owner or a space admin. So really, we should be teaching all of our teams to look for this blue check mark to know that the page is finalized. And then the only people who can change that status are the owner or a space administrator. This gives some sense of confidence that this information is accurate. And you can also search for verified pages using this filter. This is another way that our teams can find good information. However, it does require they know what verified means and know to look for it. So that is the content status feature in Confluence. It can be a great way to support your team to make sure they know the status of a page of content. Is it ready to be used? Does it need editing, etc.? It does, however, require some thought around how you will use it. So don't just start using it without a plan and make sure your team is enabled and knows what it's for and how to use it and what it means. I am curious though to hear what you think of this feature and if you use it. Drop a comment down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, like and subscribe if this is useful. There's a ton of stuff to chat about within Confluence and Atlassian, so your feedback is really important. Thank you so much for learning with me. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one of these soon. Me again, thank you so much for watching that video. Check out more here, and pop down into the description. I've got a blog with weekly content. I also have a lot of online learning on Atlassian stuff and project management. And if you need personalized training for you and your team, reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to get something set up for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again soon.